Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature yet another PRS guitar. All right, so this is the core model from the core series. This is the PRS McCarthy 594 Semi Hollow 2 in Tempest Green Smoke Burst. <laughs>
I want to thank the lovely Miss Janet from Davis Guitar for passing this guitar for review. You guys might think that I'm on a roll and that I've converted to the dark side, you know, to be a PRS fan. Uh, not really. Okay, so the thing is that I, I've always stated that I have a love-hate relationship with PRS because of the way it sounds and the way the guitar has been priced in the past, you know, like, you know, way out of reach. And, uh, and there's a whole lot of other factors, like, you know, the elitism that goes with it, you know, back in the days when people say, say, no, I have a PRS, what do you have? Oh, I have a Holly Benton, you know, stuff like that. Guys, your attitude, they kind of like, you know, mar the whole and tarnish the whole reputation of the guitarist itself. And that's my belief. My belief is that the guitarists are not to be blamed. You know? Say what you will about Paul Reed Smith. He's a great luthier. You know? He designs great guitars. He makes great guitars. The only, only gripe that I have is the guitarist back then was really out of range. You know? And uh, especially you know, guitars like this in the core series, they're like, you know, a working musician will find it hard, you know, to, to, to get their hands on one. But then I guess there's a, a chain of strategy, you know, um, and you have the SE models, you have the uh, S2, which is really good. You know, I find the S2s are really like a great value for money, you know, great for working musicians who need a, a, a great guitar. You know, and like I said, I'm not a fan of all the PRS guitars. There are certain guitars that I don't really like. Um, but the Makati 594 has always been my favorite. Uh, ever since I played one back uh, a couple of videos back when Miss Jeanette sent me, uh, I believe it's an Iris Purple, and the first Makati 594 that I played. And I just fell in love with the whole concept um, of having a, you know, a 25.94 scale length and, and, and having the uh, pickups, you know, the, the 5815 low turn, and the way the appointments are, you know, the single cut, and you know, reminds me of a Les Paul with this top-loaded um, pickup selector. You know, all those things really make me a fan of the Fine Eye Force, you know, the Makati Fine Eye Force. So this, <laughs> this is the semi-hollow uh, iteration of the Makati Fine Eye Force, and this has a nitro cellulose uh, finish with a tempest green smoke burst. Really nice finish. Yeah, I think this is not been offered in the main uh, page of PRS where you, you have the uh, Makati 594 uh, semi-solid too. I think this is a custom color. Yeah. You have a beautiful calf maple top as well as the back and a middle wood that's made of mahogany. The neck is also a one-piece mahogany. And you have rosewood fretboard with 10-inch fret radius, jumbo frets, you know, fox binding, bow nut, right? Really interesting bow nut. Really nice really nicely cut. Um, you have uh, no locking tuners. Now, these are the same tuners that you'll find on the S2s. Um, like the S2 um, double cut Makati that I procured from Miss Janet. You know, same same tuners, right? So they have uh, foregone or forego, uh, they have decided to uh, drop the uh, locking tuners, you know, for the Makati 594 series. You have a top loaded three-way uh, pickup selector, two sets of volume and tones with the tones having a push-pull for the coil splitting of the single coils. And these are the 5815 LT, low turn, right? So these have a little bit of a lower output than the 5815S from on my um, McCarthy uh, 594, double cut. You have a two-piece stop tail, same as the as the ones in the S2, right? Nice, uh, set true neck. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference? What's the difference between this and the three uh, S2 uh, Final Form Macartis that I did a comparison? This has a certain tone to it because of the semi-solid or semi-hollow uh, nature of the guitar. And it has a different timbre to it. Uh, somehow I find that this has a little bit more warmer tone to it, especially on the neck pickup. And even on the bridge pickup, uh, when I'm going for a full overdrive uh, mode and solo and stuff, it's sweet. It's, it's like, yeah, it reminds me of um, of certain tones that I hear um, with with guys playing uh, really great guitar solos with the semi-solid guitars, you know, it, it, it has that sort of timbre to it. Uh, but yet, it, it also has a modern touch to it when you're on your middle position, which I really absolutely adore. All right, the middle position is, is the thing that, that that is really attractive about this guitar, you know, I just kind of love that tone, right, smack in the middle. So how does it play? So this feature is the same uh, neck pattern as the uh, as the S2 uh, 5, uh, 594's, uh, McCarthy 594 S2's, uh, on the double and single cut. These are the vintage pattern, 
So, no problem. It's an easy neck to play. Really comfortable. Even for long hours. Alright. Cool. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, this has a certain, um, certain thing to it. A certain vibe to it. You know, when, I'm, when I was playing it, I, I, I just feel that this guitar is, is really versatile. Uh, given the fact this is a semi-hollow thing, we, we thought that, you know, a lot of us would think like, oh, Sammy Hollard, you know, you know, probably a jazz guitar or someone who's playing fusion. But this would f be just right at home with country, with rock, right? Uh, great guitar, yeah. So guitar is available in Davis Guitar Singapore. So if you're in Singapore, just pop it down and try it out. It's also available in Sweetwater, but I guess with different colors, you know, different finishes, right? And let me know what do you think about this guitar. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Right? So you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the love, the kindness and the support. Thank you guys so much. All right? So in the meantime, you guys take care of yourself and I'll see you real soon. Ciao.